Hi guys, welcome back to day five of Winter Nail Art Week. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you this nice mint green, wintry, reindeer, like Christmas sweater kind of design on my natural long nails made with nail polishes and water decals. So I'm going to do a gel design, then a nail polish, then the gel, then nail polish again. So if you want to know how I made this fifth design out of seven, please keep on watching. So first up, you want to start off with clean nails. And I already applied the Essence Studio Nails 24-7 base coat off camera. And I'm going in with a another essence nail polish this one is a minty green polish from a somewhat older collection but any mint green or really light bluish color will do and of course always remember to cap off the edges as well and we're going in with this minty green color on the thumb and the pinky and just make sure it is completely opaque. I added about two layers of this color. And I really like the unconventional, like Christmassy colors, such as mint green, light grays, kind of bluish colors. So that's why I also decided to do a mint green and white design. And I think this design can be worn like apart from the holiday season as well. You can still wear it throughout January if you want to. So yeah, let's go back to the tutorial. I'm going to add an opaque white layer of regular nail polish on the other three nails so you want to go in with two layers of an opaque white on the pointer finger the middle finger and the ring finger of course always remember to cap off the edges as well going on top of the sidewalls when you have longer like c curved nails like i do and as you can see my nails got pretty stained from that red polish i used in my first um tutorial of the winter nail art week but yeah <laughs> stuff like that happens sometimes like especially with red polishes as well as like some blue colors they can really stain the nails pretty badly so if you have natural nails and they are a little bit stained who cares we're going to cover it with nail polish anyway but then for the white fingers, you want to take that minty green polish again and you want to get rid of most of the product off of your brush. And we're going to just dry brush a French manicure on there or make it kind of like an ombre effect. But I really wanted to keep the streaky effect in here. So when you get rid of most of the product off of your brush, you really get that streaky like dry brush effect, which I really, really love. So I'm just going to apply that on the uh, tips of the nails working towards I'd say about 40% up towards the cuticle area so just a little less than half of the nail and of course always cap off the edge with that color as well so it gives a really rough effect and I really really love that and for those three white or like gradient nails we're going to add some water decals. I got these water decals from AliExpress as usual. They're really affordable and I think I got them like a year ago but back then I got them in a little bit too late to make more wintry designs so that's why I'm using them now. I don't know if I can still find the links to those but I can always just try to look it up for you if you would like me to. So for the pointer finger I'm just going to add a running or jumping reindeer and because this water decal is really basic it is just a plain black i think it really like um how do you say that it complements the simpleness of this design if you want to call it like that <laughs> for the middle finger i'm going to add uh, the text on a water decal and it says merry christmas and it has some really cute antlers on there which really ties in this design completely and just to make sure that you guys know this is for my winter nail art week and you can totally rock this for christmas and the rest of the holiday season i just wanted to add something that said like it was made for christmas if you know what i mean 
Then for the ring finger I went in with another deer, but this one has some kind of like flower arrangement on the bottom um, and I'm going to add this to the center of that nail as well. Um, with water decals it's always really important to make sure there isn't any water underneath the decal anymore because if there is you will be able to move the decal and maybe eventually damage it so just make sure you press slightly to get rid of any water which may have gotten stuck underneath the water decal then i'm going to do some stamping on the thumb and the pinky because i wanted to make like a christmas sweater idea and there was this cute little design on this essence ho ho limited edition plate um, and i just really wanted to use it so i stamped this cute design um, like almost centered on the uh, thumbnail so I just um, added two of those to the thumb and I think I added two and a half to almost three of those in the length on the pinky nail because the pinky nail is a lot longer but since it is quite narrow I actually made sure I had a little bit of space on both of the sides to add some extra white polish like some stripes and so some dots but you'll see me doing that later so I'm just adding the stamping polish to the plate oh and I am using a really opaque stamping polish by Born Pretty Store which I also got from AliExpress. You guys know me, I get a lot of nail art stuff from AliExpress because it's really affordable and all of the sellers I buy from are like, I really recommend them. They have really good items for really reasonable prices as well. And I will be definitely be making a video soon of which sellers I really recommend because I've been asked so many times to make a video like that. So I will definitely be doing that shortly so I'm going in with that same stamping like image design onto the pinky and as I said I am applying about three of them on there like the third uh, fell off like halfway so it's like two and a half to three of these stamped images but I just think it looks really really cute and I really like this plate by Essence I know it is limited edition so if you want to get it just go out to stores right now because it's in stores this month only I guess I think it was in stores like half November already so it will be gone pretty soon but you might be able to still get it online if you want to but this design is just so cute and I really like this image plate because there are some like smaller designs on there as well so if you have really like small tiny nails or if you want to do the nails of for instance your daughter or your little sister or something like that you are capable of using this stamping plate but then I just poured out a little bit of that stamping polish on my tile which I always use as a background and I'm going in with a striper brush just loading up my brush a little bit and I'm going to add two lines on each side of that stamping design just to give it a little bit more of like that Christmas sweatery feel if you know what I mean like designs like these really remind me of Switzerland for some reason I've never even been there but I always think of Switzerland and hot cocoa and being there on like a holiday or something in front of a fireplace I don't know my imaginary like thoughts go wild if you know what I mean <laughs> but you just want to add two lines to the pinky and the thumb and then I just went in with a dotting tool and added some random dots on the sides of those to make this design complete I didn't really want to leave any bare spots so I just added a couple of dots so I added four on each side of the thumb and I added five on each side of the pinky always make sure to get rid of any excess polish which may have flooded in the cuticle area or onto the skin and yeah it is actually a pretty easy design but i really like making like easy to do designs so you can actually recreate them sometimes i go out on youtube or just the internet in general and i'm just looking for some cool inspiration stuff and i like 
ran into some really cool designs but they are so hard to do and I just really like to make easy to do ones because you can actually recreate it and just make it your own you know but if you have any flooding which has already dried you can just take a little bit of nail polish remover and a clean up brush or maybe even a q-tip or something like that and just remove the excess polish so your cuticles actually look pretty neat this holiday season and i um purposely took one without acetone because i was switching off my designs so much for this winter nail art week and i didn't want to dry out my skin any more so i just took a nail polish remover without any acetone but to cap in this entire design i just took my oldie but trusty catrice the um, quick dry and high shine top coat and i just added a layer to all of the nails i made sure that my stamping polish was completely dry because otherwise you might have some like dragging of the white polish and some streaking and you don't want that because that totally messes up your design but yeah this was already the fifth design. I really hope you liked it. Let me know then in the comments what you think and what design you would like to see me do after the, these seven days of winter nail art week is over. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on forehand. And if there are any questions or comments or uh, requests, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.